that way. Oh. Oh. I've been thumbing through these hundreds all day. I got paper cuts, I'm thumbing through this money all day. I've been thumbing through these hundreds all day. All day. Okay, Elliot. Talk that Look. shit. I've been thumbing through these hundreds all day. Talking 24 hours, don't forget the full tray. One thing Cash gotta say when it come to getting this paper, nigga, I don't play. Okay. Broke nigga always talking broke shit. Oh. Broke, shit. broke nigga always got a broke bitch. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that. What they done did? They broke nigga, broke bitch, had a broke kid. Okay. Damn. I'm just trying to get the bands. <laughs> <laughs> Counting this money is really hurting my hands. In five minutes, I went through 100 grand. Detroit. And I gotta have the bag with the two C's. I got this green thumb from counting this blue cheese. I all day. I got paper through this honey all day. Hey. Thumbing, thumbing, thumbing. Thumbing, thumbing, thumbing. Thumbing, thumbing, thumbing. I've been thumbing through these honeys all day. Uh, you gotta thumb through that shit. You know how you. Yeah, uh. look. Money bag, nigga, gotta have that money bag. Fuck all that talking, nigga, show me where that money at. Yeah, sure. And if you ever get your ass one dollar, when I see you, nigga, run it back. Run, run it that back. shit back. Uh -huh. hey, put the punnies and the cutting up my hands. Uh. I just want them M's, nigga, plural. I'm in the UK fucking up the mural. Uh. Uh. I got a rich nigga, go down south. Put this million dollar pussy in your mouth. In your nigga mouth. Nigga, ask what's that, that? I say, dollar. If you ain't got nothing, nigga, then holler. Look, this is that rich shit. 2020 vision looking at a rich bitch stomach, nigga. I don't like these motherfuckers. Now, now. Uh, she said go. she put the million dollar pussy in your mouth. Yeah. In your mouth. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this, though. I got to say this. Say it, say it. I'm going to say this. First of all, first and foremost, you understand? We in Detroit today. You see what I'm saying? We might be in LA, but we in LA, but we still in Detroit. And you're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. <laughs> now, I, I got a comment on something. What's that? A lot of you niggas never ate no million dollar pussy. Yeah. I did. You did. I did. You ate some million dollar pussy? <laughs> you ate some $2 pussy too, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what and I did? And you ate some $3 ass. Players fuck up too. <laughs> Players fuck up too. I think everybody, I'm just saying, everybody would be so level. I'm it's just levels. saying, all the $2 pussy and the $3 ass he ate, he finally ended up eating yeah, some you know, million that's dollar vagina. Yeah, that's so. a million dollar worth of pussy. Uh -huh. It's all about upgrading. Yeah, you gotta, so you gotta upgrade. start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You gotta start some weight. He was eating. He was eating three dollar ass like this, fresh out the club too, <laughs> not the tub. <laughs> smell like cigarette butts. <laughs> but smell like That's wolf pussy. Story. That's another story. I ain't even gonna comment. No comments. <laughs> Usually that shit mean I done it, but I ain't. I ain't telling on myself. But that's another story. But. Right today, we in Detroit. We got cash all in here. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And it's like my motherfucking homie, my motherfucking wife. She yes. loves That's my dog. cash. I yes. When I tell you she love Arkeisha, I'm talking about she <laughs> yes. fucking loves Arkeisha. Arkeisha. <laughs> like I'm just not your like, CCR. Arkeisha See, we know from Arkeisha the from the D. <laughs> <laughs> like we know because let me just tell you something. A lot of people don't know this, but back in it, you know, back the day, in the day. The day. I, I used to be in the D a little bit. Yes, we, yeah, we, you know what we, I mean? Like, niggas joints. don't know that, you know what I'm Seven, saying? Seven, eight. Oh, the trick, trick, my nigga, you know, I used to be back in the, yeah. D, in the D, back in the, you know, back in the day. Give it to was, him, break it down. And, you know, I had a young boy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I was cool with Don, my nigga Donald. Yeah, Lil' Don. Donald. Yeah, your first boyfriend, Donald. Yeah, yeah we Don. was cool. Yeah, How cool. the fuck you know about my first boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh no! Oh saying, my God! How do you know about this? We was in the D. I, I was in the D. Like, I, like it was a big thing. Yes, Donald was striking that ass like, like that. Like I mean, that was a big. It was like Don. Got uh, Don had a uh, fuck. Uh, they was like Don got on. That was my first boyfriend. He had a fuck. Okay. Up. They was like Donald got on Keisha. Like out of all the nigga Donald striking that ass like lightning. Fucked oh, up. He was not striking. Yeah, fucked up. Stop running. It was little range robs. It wasn't striking. He used to run to the store and get his food and shit. I was just playing. Make, she used to make that nigga No, that was my first. I went to prom with him. That's my dog. That's your mm -hmm. dog. Yeah, that's my dog. We cool. But why he had to be striking my ass? Like, what? Striking, he striking like that lightning. thing like like. Well, he was the first nigga that ate the million dollar Gucci. How y'all even know about my first boyfriend? Who was the first nigga for Donald looking at all the rest of these niggas? I was, 
I hit it, I hit it first. No, he did not. Oh, no, I hit it, I hit it. He raging. Well, see, now she's telling on herself. Because okay. she told the nigga, she told the nigga he was right, the first. Well, yeah, the, that's why he went no, to the prom again. No, he did not so say you, he hit it, he hit it first. Yes, oh, he no, told he him did that. not. Oh, so now she's married. No, he is married with kids now. We can't be talking about no, this. That's, this that's shit ain't got nothing to do with back in the day. Right. Fuck, that's like. No, you know how women be. They don't like that. That ain't got nothing to do with you. That's us. We speaking. We ain't saying nothing. Right, I ain't saying nothing. We ain't saying shit. Before we go any further, let me get to our sponsors. Shit. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Amsterdam. Vodka. Yes. Now, life's kicking your ass. (laughs) Shot of New Amsterdam. Yes. You're having a hard day. Mm -hmm. It'll restructure your day. Shot of New Amsterdam. Yes. Life ain't going your way. (laughs) Shot of New Amsterdam. You see how I keep giving it that. Cause if you you sip some liquor and it don't, it don't give you that pop, right? And it's distilled five times, it's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. You could drink it straight up. You could drink it on rocks. You can make a classic New Amsterdam Mule. So when you're out and about at your local liquor store, make sure you pick yourself up some New Amsterdam vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports, and the presenting sponsor of Million Dollars Worth of Game. And it's great for pregame. And right now it's the playoffs. It's baseball. Yes. We got hockey. You got everything going on right now. So make sure you get you some new Amsterdam vodka when you're out at your local liquor store. You only can pick one. Is is it cash or love? <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got to answer the question. You just can't make me say which one. I'm not saying. I'm the saying. The right it's, love will make you, will help you, will motivate you to get the money. So, yeah. like, you got to pick one. The love is not motivational. Because you can get with a motherfucker that don't do nothing but be your downfall, right? So, of course, you're going to pick the cash. But you can get with a motherfucker that motivates you to get the cash. You know what I'm saying? It makes your world better. Sometimes a motherfucker break your high break, make, make your vibrations a little higher and you go get the cash. So, I wouldn't just say cash because, you know, the money ain't going to love you like love. Real genuine love. Have you ever found true love? I think I did. So, so, you, so basically, she could change her name to Love Doll. Mm-hmm. Or she, cash love, though. You can add that in there because she love love. Let me I love you. love. I'm a woman. Let me ask right. you a question. When you found love, did you fuck it up? No, I never fucked it up. I'm perfect. Oh, see, now this is the bullshit. Oh, this is the bullshit. Here, the here bullshit. we go. Now here you come with the bullshit. Here go the bullshit. Okay, okay, okay. You in a relationship right now? Yeah. Same person as a... Who you in a relationship right now with? Uh, you know, people know. Tracy? Yeah. This is a new something new. This is a new thing. Ah, uh, yeah. What what do you call it new? Like January. February. No, because I seen a while ago. I seen on Instagram somebody had bought you a Bentley. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the year prior to. Oh okay. Yeah. And you not so. Did he come take the Bentley back like the Migos? Yeah. He did. I gave it back, really. Oh, you gave it back. You know why? Why? Because it was like a baby. It was like that was his attachment. I was just like, all right, look. So let me ask you a question. Let me, let, me, let me ask the ladies out here a question. Because if I'm with you and I'm fucking with you and we in a relationship and I buy you some shit, and then a year from now or however we ain't together, am I allowed to ask for my shit back? Oh, that's lame. Am I allowed? First of all, let me just say this. It's not, it's, not even, it's not even back. my shit back it, I because I gave you this. Or my pussy back. I can't ask for none of the, or anything I've done for you back. You know what I'm saying? So why would you ask me what? for something back? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that's lame. You bought somebody something. You bought it for them. So we even, nigga. You basically saying. It's not that because I ain't running shit. But if it's going to give me a headache, it's too expensive. You can have it. You know, like, my piece is way more important. So if I have a car and you feel like that's your way of having access to me, come get it. Mm. See, when you have a man that control women with material things, they have a way of thinking. So I'm not pressed by that because I have it myself. So it's like, come get it. Life goes on. I didn't lose no sleep. And um, congratulations to him. I I I just want to know, like, I don't know because – First of all, <clears throat> just me as an individual, and I'm not speaking on nobody else. If I buy a, a woman a Bentley, 
We in deep, deep. This ain't no. But see, it that wasn't deep. My that situation. That's why I ended so fast too. Because you know, like I fuck with dude. Anytime I fuck with somebody, I fuck with him. Right. I don't do. I don't have to date nobody for no other reason. But I like you. Right. So I fucked with him, and he bought me that in a month. Damn, you got you got that million. Oh yeah. I know what's going on. You shit. You ain't. No, rap. I'm not about to. You ain't lying in your oh, raps. Lord. You ain't lying in your raps. Oh, go. fuck that. You ain't lying in your raps. We'll go. Here we go. A month. You talking about 30 days? What, wait, wait. Was it February? What, what kind of car was that again? It was a Bentley. It was a speed, wait, a too. Bentley it was a Bentley in but listen. a month. 30 days. Oh, my God. At that, the same time, though, that I feel pussy like. pussy got alligator little oh, no, arms no, that no. come out and grip your nuts when you're in it. I'm about to just go because I ain't about to. Scoops the nuts up and <laughs> that motherfucker. God I'm about damn. To go. I can't. No, <laughs> do not start with stop, me. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <sighs> she said she wasn't lying. She said, I'm no, fucking Bentley. I don't me. know. You know what? Some people think like when you date a woman of a certain caliber, they try to impress you. No, and they think it ain't nothing wrong with that. Let me say this though: I'm if you got it, there's nothing wrong with trying but, to impress But I'm not woman. saying that I ain't got that. I ain't. Uh-uh. But, but listen, I'm gonna but, say this though. I'm gonna <laughs> say this. <laughs> Look, she go. <laughs> I ain't saying a little what alligator arms. What I am saying is, like sometimes a guy get a woman. You know what I'm saying? That he felt like he always wanted and wanted to show off. <laughs> I'm about to go. I'm about to just go no, because you ain't. About don't to go. Don't go. Cause it's him. Don't right. go. I'm Please. sorry. Don't go. I'm sorry. Listen, let, let me just say this. Basically, what you saying is. It ain't the things. It's like, motherfucker, make me feel good. Is that, do that supersede everything? That, man, listen, what people don't understand, it be the smallest things that make my day over. I already know how to All that big shit. Like, oh, you bought me a car, and then what? It ain't, it, it ain't mine no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be the little things that count. Like, for real, for me, it's food. <laughs> oh, all love fucking food. Food. It's flowers. It's like the thoughtful things that you do. It's the effort that make me feel like you really care. A nigga with money can buy everybody this. You know what I'm saying? But when you really care for somebody, the thought, the effort is way more important. It shows that you care. Every man not doing, nah, you not doing, you not putting in effort. Every bitch, you can buy any bitch something if you got money. That time, Absolutely. that time, but you that know, time, like nigga, you can't get this to everybody. No, you can't get a time to everybody. Yeah, you can't get that time to everybody. You not them feelings, the the little thoughtful romantic things. You not doing that. You have to feel that to do right. that. And, and see what people don't understand is, people will be like, oh, like like people will look at a person's relationship on Instagram and be like, oh, Those. he he shower her. That fucking Instagram he, shit is fucked he, up. Oh, he get her everything. Yeah. He spoil her. He do this. He do that. And I'm not talking about your situation. I'm talking about situations in general. A lot of niggas, that's a cover up because they really not them niggas. Mm-hmm. Because if you really was that nigga, you wouldn't so, have to do so, all so that. So this is my way of, this my way of showing you that I'm that nigga. Because at the end of the no. day, more than any of that, a woman appreciates you more if you could just make her laugh. Oh, my. Oh, see, I'm a goofy motherfucker. I forgot to say that. Yeah. Making me laugh. Spending time yeah. with me. Feeding me. It be flowers. You know, like, look, don't get me wrong. I love expensive things, of course, you know. Mm, I, buy the, I buy those things myself, yeah, too. Yeah, you cool. At you the already same got time. them. You know, but at the same time, it's like those things that make me feel like, oh, wow. Or even if you go to the mall and you just thought about me, like, or you, you bring me something yeah. back. It's not just, oh, you got to buy me this to fuck with me. You got to buy me this to fuck with me. No, because at the end of the day, that shit do not make you happy when that nigga ain't coming home at night. Right. But I think I think in a town we live in, it's like on Instagram, you see these quote unquote relationship goals that don't understand. And a lot of these women being beautiful nightmares. Huh, what? Whereas though, it'd be, yeah, you getting that. But you don't see all the dumb shit that they going with, what? going through. At you night, got, you, you, got, you crying you every your, night to you, sleep. You can flash your bags and, ah, oh my God, all the dumb shit. It be these illusions, like social media is illusion. And to me, especially in the hood, black on the black tip, it fucked the relationship up. Yeah. Because you could be in a relationship with a motherfucker and the whole time, they putting pressure. A cat might be putting pressure on his chick, and the chick might be putting pressure on a cat based off some shit that they seeing in a in a in a a, a, a magical, highly produced production me, relationship. This shit is like something. a movie. You Only watching. time a nigga money means something to me if I know he don't spin it. Cause now I want you. I, that made me feel special. Cause right. I know you won't spin it. Right. That's the only but you time. It if on I me. see you a stingy nigga, exactly. That's the only time. Stingy. Oh, you stingy. <laughs> All right. This time I know if the nigga like me. Mm-hmm. I want this. Right. Only cause you stingy. But if you was, 
generous, it wouldn't even bother me. But since you so stingy and cheap, my nigga, buy me something. Because you know what a stingy (laughs) nigga say? First of all. Because what I would. That makes you feel special because you know he ain't doing it for everybody. And it also said, let me just tell you something. With a stingy nigga, it also say a lot for your character. Because that say you get bitches off of just being you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, what, what, a, what a nigga don't know is a nigga will buy himself into a relationship and the whole time you with your bitch that you bought yourself into a relationship, she thinking he do that with every bitch. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing special about it. Ain't nothing special about that. No. He... Because let me just ask you a question. It ain't a woman on planet Earth that can meet a nigga and within a certain amount of time, a nigga do a certain amount of things. And in her mind, she's not thinking this nigga's somewhat a goofy. This <laughs> nigga buys himself into every relationship. Everything. And then a lot of times with the niggas that buy themselves into relationships, they be on a power trip. They don't want you to do nothing. They think they don't owe you it, now. Bitch. Why are you grieving? They Can think tell they you to owe breathe? you now because Play they, dead. they bought you a bunch of shit. Where so, you going? Oh, you going out? You Fuck doing you too much. That's out. a prime you, example. You doing too much. Of the guy I was with. Y'all asked me, was I with Tracy? Yes, that's my relationship I'm in now. And before, it's two different dudes. You know, you got a dude that I genuinely... You know, I vibe with, and we met, and we like each other. You know what I'm saying? Because Tracy do... feel like he that nigga too, though. You probably he feel no, no, no. But you feel like yeah, fuck his phone. Yeah, anyway, so at the end of the day, I understand. So at the end of the day, it's beginning of the day. Young boy, the day, young boy feel day. like no, at young don't, the... don't flush young boy off. <laughs> young boy feel like me. He, are, he, he feel are. like me. I'm that you nigga. You feel what I'm saying? When he threw his line in the water, when I threw my line in the water and got two, guess what? Boy, when you got two. Guess what? 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 I she didn't come. I didn't come out with a motherfucking shark, and she came out with a fucking jellyfish. I'm a fucking shark too. Fuck is you talking about? So that's how Tracy feel. Tracy feel like Tracy feel like yeah, I got you, but uh, you got me. Fuck you talking. Anyway, but that what you was saying? You love it too. Look. Tracy what you was saying was striking that ass give like a pow. Give me this. Give me this damn mic. No, no, you go can't. Ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm not. <laughs> Good. Shout out to my nigga I Tracy. Don't like Shout out him. to Tracy. What what city he from? He from Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Okay. Hey. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah, but that just goes to say prime example of, you know, somebody buying their way into something and then now you looking at them like you buy everybody shit, so uh, whatever. You know, and then when it's over, you just looking at them like, damn, you just really. But then when you get with a real one, you know what I'm saying, that you vibe with and y'all like each other. So when, when he get me things, he buy me things, it's like, oh, my boo. Mm-hmm. You know, instead of like, nigga, that's what you ought to do. So mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he he walked in a, uh, into his wife, April shop, and just handed her his wallet because whatever is whatever you April, fuck with that's a hustle. I ain't there. do none of that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Nah, everyone don't even seem like she gonna budge for a nigga uh, listen, just coming listen. out. No, at that time she told that she threw that nigga back while back to him. Stop playing me that little ass bit of money. Oh, she ain't never do that to me. <laughs> you know what? You very fucking never, this She ain't <laughs> never do that to me. He capping. April been a hustle for, yes, she for had. years. I've been following her for a while. Like that's a real go get. And right I went there. right to fucking there and hustled that hard. Come here, get get over here. You with me? Okay, but you, you know what I don't like about dudes? Y'all don't like to say how y'all feel about you. Yeah, they, oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. They, they just want to front. Like, you ain't watch the shit. You don't. Oh, no, no. I sing the minds. I'm just I bring saying, flowers. I, you, I, I'm not selfish with my emotions. I, I'm an emotional I motherfucker. I, I don't play about my I, I love my baby. And I fuck we don't do none of that. But Look you at just my yeah, not Look I gotta talk my shit sometimes. She got your ass. That, that ass I gotta talk my time. We got each other. We got each other. We both fucked up. No, she got your pussy. You're supposed to whip that, that pussy. She ain't going to tell you that. She, she got you your you pussy. What does she do? You see yes, it on that show. Do. Okay, well, yes, she got do. you. What the fuck? Why you sitting up? <laughs> she <laughs> fucks you up, nigga. Shit, I fucked that leather <laughs> off it. Why? Why? I fucked fuck the leather jacket <laughs> and the <laughs> zippers off. <laughs> this nigga capping, man. This nigga capping. <laughs> this nigga talk about, I'm not selfish with my I'm emotions. Not. What the fuck are you talking about? Listen, you know I'm, what it is. You I'm know not what? selfish Let me explain with my something emotions. to you. No, some guys are Let like that. Like you find a guy that's just like, Emotionally not there. Let's and it's just like be real. My nigga, like, they emotionally absent. A lot yeah, of people, I love too. That's my baby. That, that got something to do That's with upbringing my heart too. And soul. Well, I know you love too. You, you know ain't telling me. Yeah, don't try to double back and clean the shit up. <laughs> fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 we should the world know you love too. I'm trying to talk myself out of motherfucking the slap in the back of the head, pussy. And you and you want to fuck throw me under the bus? You fuck that right. You fucking, Toots, You know I love you, baby. Mind, body, heart, and soul. 
You hear me? I would die. Look, now they trying to clean. Like I said, I would ladies, die they like to do all that, but at the end you. of the day, we know, we know. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, all, it's all yeah. that. Toot knew she got me back in the day. You know what I mean? Now, 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 when it comes to music, right? Yeah. What made you get in the shit? Say, you know what? I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some of this game on these beats. What made you say, you know what? I'm going at this shit. I've been wanting to do it since I was a kid. I was just like, I just felt like I'd never be cash doll. I was just like, man. Look, I'm about to just fucking try it. What's the worst gonna happen? You know, so shit, I got in there, rap, put that shit out. It came out, and then somebody paid me for a feature for twenty five hundred dollars. I'm like, you was like, huh? And this, and this, how long was you in? The, how long was you rapping? I just that was my first time going to the studio. I put the freestyle out, and somebody hit me like, I got twenty five hundred dollars for a feature, and I'm like, shit, what? My like, where's it? He might have been trying to. Yeah, he came though. They came motherfucker. with that shit. It was a manager for his for his for his group. So I'm like, where that shit at? You know, some niggas about their way into a date too. She bad as a motherfucker. It was not. And she can uh, spit. I got twenty five hundred for you. So look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I did the shit. Then they gave me another twenty five to do the video. Mm. Five so bands. You like a, this sweet? I'm like, hold up. I'm a motherfucking rapper, nigga. I'm getting paid yeah. for this shit, so it's on now. I'm like, yeah. all right, bet. All right, I put that shit out. Then this is when Chief Keith was like, like just coming, like coming out hot and shit. Mm -hmm. And they had a, a concert in Detroit, and the guy was putting a lot of money behind his artist, so he paid for them to open up for Chief Keith. So I came out, and people was fucking with me. I'm like, it's on. I'm a fucking rapper. Ever since then, it was like, fuck, man. I'm, I, I that's when I stopped dancing. I didn't. I didn't had no motherfucking retirement party and that shit. I just said fuck this shit because I ain't like the shit no more anyway. I'm about to do this. I put all my eggs in that basket, and ever since then I've been on them beats. Most you ever made in the night dancer? Uh, what was twenty six thousand and one night? Damn, what the fuck? It really was more than she that because I made thirteen thousand at the door. I made twenty six thousand on stage. Oh, out the door? What the fuck you mean the door? You had off the, the door. door. I bought the door. I'm a hustler. Come on, oh, she I, I, I the get my money. Let's wait, talk. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. She was a promoter. Let me just say this. And anything. What the fuck do you got to do to make twenty six thousand? What the fuck was you in this? Absolutely nothing. Let me tell you something. On, on and your I fucking want everybody. I want everybody on here to go watch it too because it's on YouTube. All right, go ahead. It's the cash bash. I want you to go watch it. I didn't even take my clothes off. It made twenty. I was really. I've been that bitch for. You so was. A, long. You was just a promoter. No, I wasn't a promoter. I was a dancer. But it's like I got so popular, y'all. It was the weirdest shit that ever happened. Like the first time I was, I was on a flyer. I was on every flyer. It got to a point where I didn't dance and did table dances. No, you only catch me on stage, and you gonna throw your money on stage. I'm gonna get it. I and it got so bad. The bitches hated me so bad. I couldn't even change in the dressing room with the girls. I had to change in the owner office because I really came and made all the money. Like. Anybody in Detroit to tell you I was the highest paid dancer for like a whole that whole year I danced. It was like I was on flyers all the time. Man, buying the door, making the money off the door. I'm talking about what? Racked up some cheese. And then you said, but this rap shit, damn. But look, that's when that's when I knew I was a strong individual. Cause I really, you know, like you have to sacrifice. You know, and I was just like, man, I'm not about to keep doing this shit. I can't stand it. I gotta this is why I don't drink liquor. Cause I used to have to at least take three shots of Grey Goose before I could even deal with the strip club every day when I used to go in there. Damn. You so I, it, it was irritating. And then dealing with the girls, I got jumped in the dressing room before, well, you know they, what I'm saying? They, they blues you up? No, nah, no. Nah, that's when I knew I needed fucking security. Cause now I got to go to the, I got to go to the strip club with fucking security. How many young mother? It was just one. Oh, she uh, snuck me. She oh, snuck me. Oh, and oh, shit. She it was like, and then the girl recorded it. It was some crazy shit. However, you know, so now I'm like, all right, now I got to start coming in with security and shit. The, the, the owners didn't want me to not come, so they had me dre dressing in they, they got them offices. And it was like, man, you know what? It's too much. It's a hassle. You know, so I'm like, all right, fuck it. It was just like the dope game. You, know, you, know you come on somebody's yeah. block, they, it's, no, it was just like that. Like, they them girls hated me. Damn. Like, it's th still to this day, to this day. Damn. <laughs> to this day, them bitches hate. To this day, you know, and I pray for them. However, damn, they still hating, huh? When I yeah, it, but when I started rapping, I'm like, shit. When I made, I, I made that little five thousand. You got to think when I was making, you talking about thirteen thousand one night, motherfucker, eight thousand one. That five thousand wasn't nothing to me, but it was like, damn, it really made me believe that I could take the next step here, right. you know, and do something I really love doing, and be be cashed out. Right, yeah. So it was like I didn't think about I ain't think twice I left that shit behind. Bye 
I left that shit behind and just started. I believed in me and I just kept going. And shit, I'm casual. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is sponsored by Blockfolio. Blockfolio is the world. I'm talking about the whole world. The world's most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency tracking and trading. I'm talking about the world. I'm talking about everywhere. Listen, the most popular Blockfolio. Build your portfolio and follow the prices on more than 10,000 coins. Get phone notification updates directly from the projects you care about. Buy and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, Deutschcoin, and other top tokens with absolutely zero. I'm talking about absolutely zero fees. And get a free coin with every, I'm talking about a free coin with every trade over $10. Visit the App Store and download Blockfolio free today i'm talking about today you can download it today i'm talking about the, my experience with it i'm talking about it's simple it's easy i'm talking about it's right there in the app store waiting for you i'm talking about black folio is waiting for you once again black folio is the world's most popular most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency trading and tracking what are you waiting for black folio what fuck me up the most is that I'm still fucked up over here like, damn, she made $26,000 in a fucking night because, you know, back in the day, we were strippers. The most, yeah, I, ever co- the most I ever cleared no, was 6700 <laughs> yeah. This nigga only made $470 one night. No, that see, was what happened was I didn't know that the house, the, the lady that was running the house, she was giving us $1,000 just to come in there. He was pocketing in the fucking uh. money. I cleared sixty seven hundred one night. He cleared seven six four seven. Fucking lying on me. He cleared four seven. I used to dance all up on the big girls. No, what what happened was <laughs> I, I, what was I the name out, of the strip club? No, uh, uh, Fox Valley. Fox Valley. <laughs> I, listen, right? <laughs> Fox Valley. Fox Valley. In the Southern End. On anything I love, we'd come out. My name was Firecracker because I was little with a big boom. His <laughs> name was TTD. <laughs> she laughed. Yeah, no, we did His name was TTD. TTD. Throw that dick. That was my name. So I just come in there. You know what I mean, I unleash my, I push the release button, I push the release, pull the release button, and it was game time. All the big girls, I used to just, they used to throw them. But well, they came to me because I had the tube sock, he had the ankle sock. Get the fuck so out of here. They used to call him Baby Crab. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, nigga. You wasn't fuck out of here. Nigga. They called me Baby Leg in there, too. Y'all, y'all it, so, hold on. So, y'all used to be strippers back in the day. No, 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 he no, made four no. seven. That's the, no, no, that's the most he ever took. That was on a dry night. And, and, I make like listen, oh, no, seven eight. No, he did on listen. a dry night. The most he ever took on was four seventy. The most I ever took on was sixty seven hundred. That nigga you, lying. I'm about to say, are you telling no, the truth? I'm I telling can't. the God I'm sure I was no, in there. No, he was dancing. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes, I did. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you my famous move. I walk up. I hit him from the front. You know, I give him a little little wiggle because I wasn't really a freak boy. So because I ain't had to do much for the for the motherfucker to go crazy. So I just give him a little wiggle, Hype right? Up. Then I walk around on the back of him. What you doing? And when I drop that dick on their shoulder from the back, <laughs> <laughs> bam! That motherfucker hit that. Two, two, no, two, no, two, no, two, 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 man. She ain't never get to see that of shows back in the day. She was mad as shit. I drop that dick on their shoulder from the back. Boom! I'm talking about you. Talk about go crazy. Up top, they go crazy. That dick just be landing yeah, on this shit. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just no, saying. But the whole thing, the whole thing is this. Both of y'all are pathetic. Bitch, give me a whole wallet. It was, it was a different time. That's when we were showing. Bitch, just give me their pocketbooks. See, back then, they wasn't Gucci back. They was pocketbooks. Bitch, give me a whole pocketbook. Cause just, ah, slap the other side. Drop oh, the dick but, on this up. Ah, he uh, lying. Uh, he lying. But listen. You mad because my happen? dick had that Michael Jackson effect. He lying. That nigga lying. bitches fall out. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga lying. That nigga lying. Listen, <laughs> but listen. When did the turn come? <laughs> Cash, when did the turn come? What turn? That man? turn where it's though. You got the 5,000. You're doing your little thing. You're spitting on beats. You're doing uh, your yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, And that shit start to go. Man, I did show, a remix. I, I did a remix. You know that Tanache Two on. All right. I love to get on. Yeah, go ahead. Man, I did a remix. Cash out with the ass out. Throw it back. Make a grown nigga tap out. Fuck a baller belly nigga. Pull some racks out. If you ain't got no cash, nigga, sit your ass down. She Damn, all shit. in a bitch face. Talk about you by the bar like a bitch can't. Mm-hmm. I'm with some bad bitches type you never had, bitches. I may let you hit it, but you couldn't pay tab, nigga. Mm-hmm. Nigga, okay. you, ain't game, nigga, you ain't making no noise. No, it was so bad, right? That remix was in rotation in Detroit. They had to, her label called like, y'all not playing the right version. Y'all, y'all playing the wrong shit. <laughs> it was so big. Like anybody from Detroit would tell you like, you don't want to hear that without hearing cash. Though. No manager, no nothing. You booking your own By myself. Shit. I was, let me tell y'all how crazy I was. I was booking all my own shows. I had an email in my Instagram. I was talking to them people on my email. 
I was like, yeah, I come, sh- I do it. Give me one flight, first class. Cause I was always like, I don't know. You was going by yourself. In the meet, full length. My Cardi's on, my jewels on. I had jewels because I was I was a dancer, so I had my little roller. I was yeah. No, I had a Brightland at the time. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Touchdown. Make sure I got somebody to come pick me up, cause you know Uber's one out. Right. Somebody make sure somebody at the airport to come pick me up. They got to come pick me up from the airport. They take me to my hotel. This is how I'm playing it crazy. They take me to my hotel. I ain't coming to the club till y'all give me my money. They give me my money. I perform. They take me back to my hotel. They take me to the airport. And I get on a flight and go home. Until my mama found out. She like, mm. what the fuck? You playing a crazy game? That's Everybody so said, dangerous. Yeah, yeah. It was my, my daddy was with me. God was with me. Because shit, I was on the go. I had to get this motherfucking money. I'm talking about I was in New York. I was booked in Milwaukee, Ohio. I was out by myself. Booking myself. Getting my little money. I ain't give a fuck. I want my money. Right. Racking my little money up. Because I still have money saved up from, from dancing. You know. Right. So I'm just racking my money up like y'all. And, and at that time, what you was getting booked to show? How much? I was like, what? Like I first started off at twelve hundred, then I went up to like twenty five. Then a the bitch started getting bad. So when the bitch started getting bad, and that shit really started adding up. Then when I put out for everybody, that's when my shit. That's when everything went crazy. That's when my my money was going up, and I was I had like seven shows a weekend: a walkthrough, a meet and greet, to a, 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 a daytime show, a nighttime show. I'm out. Collecting that paper, mm-hmm. so since 2014 I've been booked yeah. every weekend. I've never not been booked. Yeah. I ain't I ain't sweating like I always been booked, and I was just saving my shit up like all right, bet. Then I st- I opened up me a shop, a beauty bar. Mm-hmm. And I was doing that, did that in Detroit, did that in Ohio, you know. So I just was. Oh, well, so you got two beauty bars? Yeah. So I just been, I been shout your beauty bars. I was the name of them. It was Casa de Dow. Oh, but okay. since when I in 2015, when I had moved to Atlanta to pursue my rap career more, it's like I had to be there on hand to, you know, like really yeah. push it and be there for it. So I'm like, I'm gonna revisit this because right oh, now okay, ain't a good yeah. time because yeah. I moved to Atlanta and I was out in Atlanta for like four years, yeah. 2019. And but shit, that was a good move. Yeah, absolutely. Atlanta is where it's yeah, at. Yeah, like that helped my career a lot too. Absolutely. So I went out there and doing my music, putting out songs, but I was stuck in a contract for a couple of years with some motherfuckers I, I signed to in Detroit. When you came out of that, the labels was on you. How long yeah, did it no, take you? No, they've been on me. But how long it took did me like two years and a half to get out of that shit. And then, and then it was on. It was on. They signed you up and it was like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big records you over here. And I dropped Mice Me Out. And it was like That was my first record, yeah. And you just ran with that paper. We're going to get right back to Cash Doll in a minute. But right now, we want to introduce you to what you already know you ain't seen in a while. The million dollars worth of game business spotlight. Today, mm. we had Haitian CEO, a.k.a. Listen, Herman, a.k.a. Bella. Listen, you you, you going you to hear all about it. I'm going to let him tell you what's going on so you can understand what's going on. But we're talking about business credit right here for all you businesses out there. He's Listen, Herman. Tell them what you got going on. Tell them how you can help them. And tell them why business credit is so important. And so many people is not getting business credit because they don't know about business credit. But you're going to tell them about business credit. Man, I'm excited about this business credit game, bro. Listen, when I found out these banks was giving out this money, listen, the personal credit, that's little game. I want to give everybody this big game. Oh, you got mm-hmm. $1,000, $2,000 credit card. You got a little Macy's drawn. No, we're talking this big bag. We talking 20, 30, 40, $50,000, 0% interest. So you can invest in your business. Mm-hmm. Listen, this is my flex. I always tell people, like, hey, her Herman, my brother got me Rolex on my birthday. You never post that on Instagram. I was like, for what? I want to show you how to get your own Rolex. So how I teach people how to get their own Rolex, I need to show you how to get this business credit, invest in yourself, invest in your business, 0% interest. You want to start a trucking company? I got you. I get you a bag. You need some real estate money? I'm going to get you the bag and I'm going to show you how to flip the bag. So that's why business credit is where I want to go and give and teach all my people because it's, it's, it's changed my life and I want to... I want to give impact to my people, not just make money off my people. Income and impact. I'm hyper about well, it. I want to thank you, first of all, because you got our credit on the good damn. Yes. Yes, million dollars worth of game credit is on the good damn. Yes, I love go it. Get, you want to go get a jet next week? No, you know, I want to do that. Well, I'll buy just, some equipment. Fuck, we might just go, ahead, go out no, there and just, just fuck all our money up no, like all the rappers do. Equipment. No, I, Sound I, like my brother. Well, I'll get some more equipment, but well, Herman, let me say this. Talk to me. When, when, when they coming to you, already right, they got a business, already right, got an idea. Yeah. Um, they got the LLC. Do they have to have a personal uh, credit, credit right together? Now? Yeah, they got to have their personal credit. Listen, I'm in a space right now where people have been talking about getting your credit fixed forever, right? Just go get it fixed because on the other side of it, we're talking five, six figures worth of credit that you can turn into a million dollars. 
So you got to get your credit together. You need your credit. Fine. We'll take care of you. But my passion is to teach you and to show you the game on how to get business credit because that doesn't show up on your personal credit report. People get personal credit cards. They max it out. Right. Your credit score tanks business credit. You max it out because you run in a play real quick. Right. Your credit don't take a hit. So that's what makes it sexy. And imagine I show you I'm about to teach you a couple of things. But imagine I show you how to go to one bank and get twenty five thousand dollars and you run the same play at two, three banks. Now you up hundreds of thousands of dollars, zero percent interest, and you maxing that out to make a play. And you and I bet on myself. So I'm always going to invest in myself, put that money into my business and give the bank back their money when I flip it. All right. Now, your story. Tell them your story so people can understand where you come from and how you was able to get to where you at. That you're not just no, you wasn't privileged. You ain't had. Tell them your story. So um, I can't rep Brooklyn no more, but. I'm from Brooklyn. My, uh, my family moved to Philly uh, when I was 10 years old. Oh, you definitely can't rep Brooklyn. No, nah, I can't rep. I'm 40 right Shout now. I can't. <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn. Can't rep. So I'm Philly. Uh, went to Bishop McDevitt High, yeah. Temple University, Lincoln University. But here's the crazy thing, right? Have my master's degree. And my master's degree, I'm at a nonprofit making 55000 I got my master's degree, 80000 in debt. And I was like, this can't be it. So literally, um, I go to Italy with my wife on a baby moon. Name a company after her, Bella Sloan Enterprises. So my wife pregnant with Bella. A baby moon. Oh. Yeah, baby oh. moon. That's when you take- I never heard of that. No, I like never heard of that. A baby that's, moon. That's no. when you go on a trip before the baby comes because it's over you after the, the baby You got the honeymoon. Yeah, oh, the baby moon. Yeah. Damn, that's some new shit. New, yeah. new stuff. So I'm taking a- we, we on our way to Pisa and I'm watching my, my wife sleep and I had to ask somebody permission to leave my job. Like, can I, can I take some time off, boss? Is that okay with you? I came back home, told my brother that story, Kevin- and he was like, bro, the only way you be free is if you have your own. You're always going to have to ask for permission. So the only thing I was really doing then was fixing people credit. But I was doing it on the low, just doing it. Sometimes I did it for free, get a couple of dollars. And then my brother was like, listen, they're going to have to pay somebody. They might as well pay you. So I was like, damn, that's, that's a bar right there. So I got my paperwork, got my LLC, became official. I did a bunch of friends for free, right? Posted their results on Instagram. And then the rest is history. Now... When you learn your craft, you always got to learn from people. I don't know anything about credits. I'm on YouTube. I'm learning everything. And you know, when you're on YouTube, you're looking for ice cream, but you end up finding how hats are made in China. So I'm, I'm learning stuff about credit, and then I fall into the business credit. And I'm like, wait a minute, business credit? And your business, all I need to do is have this LLC, this piece of paper, and you'll give me twenty five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 just because my signature? That's when I took that game, and I had to run back to my people. I'm like, listen, man, this is different. Is everybody looking for capital? Everybody for looking for money to invest in themselves, clothing brand, whatever they want to do, laundromats. And now I'm showing them how to get access to that capital and the rest is history. And I, we've helped. Listen, this year alone, 2021, we have um, helped fund 20 million in business credit alone. And it's only six months during the pandemic last year. Right. Last year during a pandemic, we did 10 million dollars and funded. So I was like, oh. Now I know this play. Now I know the formula. Are oh, we going to 10 next it in 2021? And it's been it's been goofy. Well, that's the reason why you're here, though, because, you know, we got the call. And, they, you know, they was like, you got to have him on it. You got to have him on it. He killing Wallow. He's helping people get millions and millions of dollars on their business credit. And he really needs the platform for people to be able to get in contact with him and and then we did the background check on you because we do background checks on everybody yeah, that we put on receipts. everybody that we put on our show as a business spotlight. You know what I'm saying from a, from a, from a from a black standpoint, we we trying to help you know show young blacks you know other ways and expanding their minds at an earlier age to know because we didn't know about credit at 17, 18, 19. Right. You know what I'm saying, and so now. The youth, they got, they able to to learn things earlier than we able to learn, and that's one of the reasons why. And the thing, here. and the thing is, I, when once somebody mentioned, I'm like, I already know Herman. I didn't see, I didn't been in, I didn't been, you know, been been at, you know, engagement with Herman, see him educating people, yeah. and then we got with him. He made things happen for us. What about all type of oh, shit? So man. Like, oh man, that, that, that's another story. So it was like, all right, bet, but we already, you know, I knew Gil just like, damn, let me check. I already knew what time it was, but it's about like this. Explain this, because people were sitting here probably like they lost. They lost, yeah. All right, I got an idea. My name is Mike. Right, Mike. I got Mike T-shirts or, or Mike Car Wash. Or Mike Lemonade. Mike, or whatever it might be. It might yeah. be just Mike's, whatever. What do I do first? I got an idea to even right. get. What do I got to do first when I just got the idea to even be able to get to you right. in order for you to help me get the business credit? What do I do first? So the first thing with our people, we got to understand, unless you got your documents in order, you got a hobby. You ain't got a business. 
right? Okay. Talk so, to. Mike, you a hobby right now. You selling T-shirts. You're a hobby. Well, how do I turn into a business? Number one, I send people to my brother, right? Kevin Dawsey, CEO of 1990, right? You go get your LLC paperwork done. He gets your LLC, get your EIN. He gets your operating agreement. He get that done. How much that costs? Uh, For those that don't know. I'm so it's different from state to state because every state LLC is priced differently, right? A few hundred dollars. A few hundred dollars. Nothing crazy, right? Now you got your documents. You're going to go open up a business checking account with that paper. Mm-hmm. Got your LLC. You go to EIN, any bank. Op- business, any bank, bank of America, PNC, wherever you want. Right. Get your docs in order. Go to the bank. Open up the business checking account. Now you set. Now you're going to come to me, right? Herm. My credit is in order. I got a 680 credit score. I got a couple of personal credit cards. They over two years old because that's what the bank is looking at. The bank is looking. You've been responsible with your credit. Yeah. That means you're going to be responsible with your business credit. So you got a couple of credit cards, $2,500 limits already, two credit cards. No problem. Let's see what we can do. You go to the bank. So here's the sauce right here. You go to the bank. Hey, I'd like to open up a business checking account. It's like dating a girl. You're not going to just ask for it up front. Hey, let me take you out to dinner. Take the banks out some to dinner. Some people do want to ask up front. Hey, 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 hey. Like, I need family, anything. That's why you show. always got turned down. Ain't this a no, family show? Some people will. You want to write in. Can I get some action? I'm just saying. So go ahead. They work a little different. <laughs> so you got to take them on a date. The date is open up the business checking account. That's forming a relationship with them. Before you get up, they be like, hey, you need anything else? Well, yeah. I, I need some money to fund the business. I got this, this T-shirt brand, right? I need about 10, 15, 20,000. Can you help me out? Absolutely, because they get a commission off of opening that up for you. Mm -hmm. So now they're going to give you either a line of credit. If your business is over two years old, they're going to give you a line of credit. That's as good as cash. You basically transfer that money right into your checking account, or they're going to give you a business credit card, 0% interest for up to a year. Now, Mike, instead of you selling two T-shirts, making $20 off of it, taking that 20 to go buy some more T-shirts to flip again, now you got $10,000, $20,000, 0% interest for up to a year. You just 10 extra business because you got a piece of paper and you got good credit. So now your business is, is booming because you already got the formula how to sell more T-shirts. So it's a wrap after that. So you get all the financial support you need to scale your business, to scale take your it business. to another level, right. put more systems in place, <coughs> tech-wise tech, tech wise or your manufacturer. Or- exactly. Your manufacturer. Now you can pay your manufacturer because now you got the bread. And that was just one bank. I'm telling you, go to a couple. The best banks to go to are credit unions because the credit unions have lower underwriting guidelines than those big banks like Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Chase. They make it hard. You go to them, they're going to give you three, four thousand. But the credit unions, they, they like working with small businesses, so they're going to give you more of a bag. They're going to give mm. you the 10, 20, like that. Mm. Key Bank is my favorite bank. I ain't got no stock with them, but I love Key Bank. You go to Key Bank, they're going to take care of you. You okay. get up to $50,000. Listen, up to $50,000, they're not going to ask you no questions. It's a no-doc program. You be like, what you yeah. No, what you mean, no-doc? No Explain doc mean, to people. So no-doc means... You know when you go ask a bank for money, you ask yeah. for a lot of money, you be like, yeah, well, I need to see your taxes from that Absolutely. Year. Oh, you made a quarter of a million? Well, yeah. I need to see your profit and loss sheet. I need to see facts. I need to see proof. Right. Now, nah, key bank is no docs. So you go to a bank, be like, how much can I get without you asking for paperwork? They'll tell you up to 50000 Yeah, I want $49,000. And they look at your credit. They make sure you was, you you in shape. The better your credit, the more to that fifty they get you. Okay. I think bad. So that's so the sauce right there. So, so that's so, game right there. That's, that's a lot of game, that's man. A lot of game. And if they trying to get with you, Herm, how do they get with you? And like, how do they connect with you? So people who try to get with me, I always teach. I love teaching, right? Um, you get a lot of free game on my Instagram page, Haitian underscore CEO. Um, and then you can check out my business page, Bella underscore Sloan underscore Enterprises on Instagram, Twitter, all the same thing. Go to that page and we're going to give you some game. If you want to get some business credit, we teach you how to get business credit in our mentorship program, right? Where we teach you, like, I like teaching people. Everything I do, Herman, how do you get credit repair? How do you do credit repair? How do you get business credit? I see you do trucking. How do you do that? In my mentorship, I teach all that stuff because I like to give game to the people. Link in the bio. We show you how to do that. But if you just want some funding, you check out my two pages. You go to link in the bio. And the, the benefit with my program is we don't run your credit to see how much red you can get. Y'all already know that. We got y'all laced up. Yeah. So we, we look Absolutely. at you real quick. do soft pulls. Be like, all right. <laughs> All right, Gilly, we can get you 50000 You interested? If you say yes, then we run your credit. But you'll know in advance how much money you can get with us. And listen, the better your credit, the older your business, the more revenue, we can get you more funding. But if you're a startup, we got you. Because, yeah, you know, a lot of people, they, don't, they, they look at it and they don't even think they got a shot. Right. right. Nah, we got you. And it's I, this I, simple. A couple hundred dollars on the LLC. Yeah. Open up a business checking Open account. Open up a business checking account. Is this, shit, is this shit takes a matter of 
hours, hours to, do. to do. This shit is not no yeah, long, drawn out process. This, oh, you file for your LLC, right. you pay for it, that shit come back, you go to the bank, they gonna get you in and out of there in maybe 10, 15 minutes. Right. You drop a couple of dollars in there, now you got a business, now you got a company, now you got an account, and then you go see her. Yeah, and you set up, man. I got I got so many success stories. Like, listen, everybody on Instagram is capping. And then you go to six Check banks. Us out. Yeah. You leave out of there with 200000 And this is what you don't go do. Don't go buy no fucking work. Don't go do no dumb shit like that. Mind your business. Uh, no, I'm just telling, <laughs> telling, <laughs> telling niggas. I'm telling, niggas, I'm telling <laughs> niggas, don't go buy no motherfucking work. You stick to the plan. If you had a plan to do T-shirts, you had a plan to do clothing, you had a plan to open up your salon, don't derail from the plan. Get your LLC, get your checking account, go see Herm, and follow through with the plan. Don't leave that motherfucking bank, and now your plans didn't change. You going to get some drip? No, right. nigga going to Mexico. <laughs> Trying to get it back, I'm going to flip that three times, oh, then the I do that, do that. you're going to end up in jail off some business fucking credit Don't money. do that. Stick to the plan. Man, yeah. If you got some shit you believe in, open up your get your LLC, mm -hmm. open up a checking account, go see her. It's that serious. Simple, that simple. Is that serious? And what you teaching on your on your that simple on your platform? Educate them. So on my platform, everybody, you know, after you re reach a certain level, people are like, hey man, do you do mentorships? Do you do one on one? And you guys know time is money. Yes, it is. I I don't have time to do one on ones, right? So what I did during the pandemic, which became another stream of income, I was like, listen, man. Join me on a Zoom call. You got me for 30 days. We meet every Tuesday and Thursday night, 7 to 9 p.m., and I just give game. I start, hey, Herm, I see you fix credit. You can teach me. I'll show you. I teach you how to fix credit. Well, show me how to start a credit repair business. I'll show you how to do that. Herm, I see you do business credit. I'll show you how to become the bank so you get commission every time somebody gets business credit. Herm, I see. But here's the thing, though. Once you get the money, that's just one thing. What do you do when you get the money, right? Well, what do I invest in? I invest in real estate. I invest in trucking. I got, I got people who know the game better than me. They come on the platform and they teach it to you. So I'm giving you the sauce. I'm giving you the battery. I'm giving you the play. I'm giving you the kitchen sink. So once you leave our mentorship, you all good. And then after that, I put you in our private Facebook group where every month we link up. Hey, how you doing, Gilly? You good? Well, what's the update on what you're doing? Or I get a new guest to come out. So it's a lifetime situation that we put you in position. So for August and September coming up, we got a lot of vacations coming up, right? But I still want to be, I, people aren't too busy to sit down with me for a month. So we're going to sit down for a week. I'll give you all the sauce in one week. And then back in October and in the fall, we go back to our 30 days. But I want to make sure we're able to get this information out to as many people as possible. Because this little simple stuff, people don't know. It's like, you got 50000 just by that. That's it. Tell them the information where they can get at you. All right, listen. Haitian underscore CEO on Instagram. You'll or, see it on the screen. You'll see it on the screen. Bella underscore Sloan underscore Enterprises on Instagram too. Link in the bio, you can book an appointment with my team. You can click to get the mentorship. You can click to get the business funding. It's all right there for you. My team looking forward to helping everybody out. Listen, man, this is Wallow 267. Another, listen, we always giving you game, man. This is another business spotlight, million dollars worth of game. Listen, check him out. Listen, man, listen, you know his name. He already told you. Haitian CEO. Check my man, Herm. He got Haitian CEO, but his, I know him as Herm. I'm just letting you know what time it is. But this million dollars worth of game, business spotlight, is just like that. Right. Let me, let's go back to I'm going to stick beside my girl, Arkeisha, who got locked up for, oh, shit. for fucking her sister's boyfriend. How you know about up. that? You know what I mean? Like, she fucked her sister's boyfriend oh, up, went to jail, oh, all this God. shit. Now, like, you now, know. Now, now, now. All three of my sisters, we all went to jail. I had to get a writ for all of us, the judge, to get them out, all of us out of jail. Oh, my God. That's just embarrassing. Listen, no, it wasn't embarrassing. You put your hands on him. He must have did some fuck shit. We ran up in their house. It was just ghetto. Damn, y'all ran up in that joint. We went up in there. We put her. I was mad. I was, it was just ghetto. Y'all, I get mad. Oh, you you get mad and get ghetto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my little sister. But you know what I learned from that? You can't do that, man. You can't. Because at the end of the day, she went <laughs> back and was with the nigga. She went come to court and tell them that he blacked her eye. And then she done turned on me. And it just was like, all right. That I, shit always happened in the hood. Like, yes. Yeah, Motherfucker, go back. You step in. You, nigga, you put your and hands on the kill you, nigga. And I got you in jail. Your sister still back and getting fucking would, him again. You like, damn, sis. I just. Man, I, and then I, I'm i in jail and I'm going. I'm like, we, I got all this to lose. I'm like, man, I ain't doing that shit. No when more. you was in jail, was your innocence on the line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't. None of that. What? My woman hood. How long was you in jail? 
Oh, that was one that long. I didn't even spend a night. Oh, you was, like, was in yeah, and I out. Ro- yeah, I got a rip. Oh, okay. yeah, right out. Of, I'm uh, about to sit in there. It was boring. She said, she said you, fuck it. Just to be bored. It was boring as hell. Look, at first when I was in a visitor room with my sister, we was in there kicking and I'm calling everybody. I'm running up the money on the thing. Hold on, hold on. One moment. This is time for, uh, this segment is brought to you by Roman Swipes and this is Stories from the Cell. Oh, shit. How long? I've been in jail a couple of times. Oh, all right. How long is, was the longest you was there? I spent the night one time. Only one, I only spent the night. I spent the night. I never stayed multiple times. All right, let's keep it real. When, when you spent that night, did you cry? Hell no, I ain't crying. <laughs> you wanted it. Arkeisha wanted it. No, oh, God, Arkeisha I'm sorry, there. God. No. I should have said my sister fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like Raheem, I do. I swear I do. He should have slapped the dog. No, when the, when I spent the night is when I used to be fighting all the time. That's like assault and battery cases and stuff like that. So Damn. It's like you kind of already know what you about to do. I've been in there a couple times for that. So you was like, I fucked the bitch up. She's sitting in it like, I fucked up. I deserve this. Uh, whatever. <sighs> then they come to court with the hockey mask on. Damn, man, everybody always come to court on you. You motherfuckers was trying oh, to oh, ice oh. you. They, 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 were. they had the hockey mask on. You know how to keep their nose intact. The hot, she went. She put some fucking work in. <laughs> I was bad, y'all. I used to be you bad. Some... I got kicked out of all Detroit public schools at one point. Well, we time. know you bad because you went to jail for beating a nigga up. Like that was gangster. We jumped him. No, but they said you started it off. Who said that? I'm just telling. You, I ain't gonna say who, who said. That? I'm we just know saying, people in the D. We know people with a D that know people. You know. <laughs> no, what I, mean? I did. I had to because you know, like it was disrespectful. Then he was talking to me crazy when I called my sister, and he all like, you know. Nah. So I and you, they said you went straight in the nigga mode. Oh what, nigga pussy? All right, I'm on my way over there. What I the fuck you say? Hold up. I'm hey, a listen, lady. Didn't I tell you? Yeah. Pussy. I am a lady. Uh, uh, get him, y'all. <laughs> They beat I the dog shit either. out of them. He he pressed charges. I, I, you Damn. you want to press charges? I, I do. I don't fight. <laughs> they asked him, "You want to press? He said, "Lock these bitches up." <laughs> I'm about to go. Yeah, you done. I want to yeah, press I charges. <laughs> I'm about to go. <laughs> But that's a but look, about, let me tell y'all that's some crazy shit it. for a nigga to press charges. Oh, like. oh, he was in he was in court every time. He didn't miss a court date on you. Listen. Damn. And let me tell y'all the crazy part. He stayed in my house in Atlanta for eight months. I took care of them. The kids, all that. Like, I'm the auntie. I'm the auntie. Damn. The real aunt. The, you know how people call it aunt. No, I'm the auntie for real. Mm. So, them, was my, them my babies. They kids my baby. So, he, what made me mad is he was like, you would never see my kids again and this and that. Nah, nah, nah. You know, like, these my, I don't have no kids. So, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? How you gonna say that to yeah. me? So, anyway, my brother stayed with me, too. So, he come to court in my brother clothes. Mm. So, when he goes up to talk to your honor. He got, he got, he got your brother. So my shit brother on. like, eh, my brother tapping Keisha. Why this nigga got my shit on? Nigga, all of her brother Dior shit. She ain't even asked to borrow the they shit. They gonna be mad when they see this, but so what? They know it's the truth. <laughs> I ain't lying. That's crazy, man. Why? That's he shouldn't have did that. And at the end of the day, it was the beginning of the day. And throughout that bitch, I had to protect my family. But you know what? It ain't do nothing for me, so I never do that shit again. Fuck that. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is sponsored by OCB Rolling Papers. Now, let me tell you something about OCB Rolling Papers. It's the shit. In 2020, OCB rolled out America's first ultra-thin, slow-burning bamboo rolling papers and cones that have been taking the market by storm. 100% French milled bamboo, unbleached, though it's not all that extra stuff that you be getting with all the rest of these bootleg ass rolling papers that y'all be smoking. No, 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 no. OCB. OCB is really where it's at. You hear me? Ask for OCB wherever you at, wherever you get your papers and get the entire line of products. In the meantime, OCB has an unreal deal for a million dollars worth of game listeners. Visit OCBUSA.com backslash game. OCBUSA.com backslash game to get four booklets of OCB rolling papers and a tray for only $4.99. This bundle is worth $20. Limited time only. Follow OCB USA on Instagram. And it's just like that. Right. Now, coming into the game, real or fake? This rap game, real uh, or fake? Uh, what is it? You know, I don't hang with no, I don't. Mm. I don't know, man. <laughs> you get me talking about this. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You this know, shit real or fake? <laughs> shit real or like fake? Like what, everybody, the industry? Everybody want to get in the industry. Everybody thinks somebody real nigga. Everybody acting like they fuck with each other. You know, coming from a person that's been in the game for a while, like, you know, 
what is you know what 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 do you see? Like when if, to be able to navigate through this shit. Uh, man, I don't know. It's just you got some real ones in the game. You got some real ones in there, but still, most of the shit is. Let's do this. Let's go percentages. Percentages out of 100% of the rappers that you met in the game. What's the percentages of real niggas and then the niggas you got around that was like, this fucking nigga's a goofball. Let's just say this. I need a percentage. I go to a hood party over an industry party. Right. Because industry party, everybody in their feet. They smiling. They, this the house, camera's going. Everybody mm, want to look a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. Everybody acting like they cool. Mm -hmm. This and that. But when it's time to get the work done or when something really ain't, ain't nobody to be found. That, whatever. You, you ever oh, had a situation where you was trying to get a feature and they, and they, and they flaked on you? Somebody flaked on you? Yeah. Hey, artist, you every see, artist damn, had that. Time. Every artist. You every, see that like, like a lot. Yeah, because no, no, not a lot. It it, it happened, you right. know. Right, because it, you see niggas. Go ahead. Yeah, because you'll see them and you'll say something. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just hit you and be like, oh, what's up? And then when a nigga like you too, you know I'm a female too at the same time. So nigga trying to, oh, let's hang out. Let's do this. Like, nigga, let's get to that work. They ain't trying to work. Because uh, I get to talk too much. I'm crazy. Y'all have been saying that. This nigga, da, 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 da. let me just shut up. Yeah, because yeah. the industry parties. Let me tell you yeah, how it is. Here, help let me, me tell you how the industry parties <laughs> is. You go in there. Everybody respects everybody in the party because everybody in here is somebody, or you wouldn't more than likely you be wouldn't there. be here, mm -hmm. right? So it was a bunch of hugs and kisses and a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, the most important niggas is telling you, man, I like what you're doing. We gonna get together. I gotta set up some. Do you know such a? Yeah, here go his number. Get with him. He can do this for you. Yeah, and did, you need a verse. You. Just, I've been trying to work with you. That's crazy. I'm just, I can't even believe you asking me for the, we can go do this after the motherfucking right, right now if right you want to do. Matter of fact, get, yo, get, get her number. Right. Listen, what you doing? You, after the club, you going to the stew? Come on, I'm going to slide down. Listen, you, you, where you in West Hollywood? I'm in the stew over there with such and such, such and such. We going to get together. I got a number. Pull, pull up. Pull and then, up. then, you know, they you leave, leave out of there. Phone and you ring. got a certain perception of a motherfucker. Phone ring. You like, damn, he real. And then don't let you be on the up and up and up. You like, damn, all right, bet your hopes up, you know. And then all you, right. then you call a nigga the assistant forty two times, and a nigga nobody answered the he phone. Keep, he keep giving now you, you mad. No, no, no. Johnny is at an interview right now. Johnny, he, he's doing a late night television. It's, it's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, he had an interview, but he was supposed to be in the studio. Yeah, he's doing an interview with uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, whatever the network. Only time called. I don't respect that is when they offer it. See, I don't come off on people like. Man, I want to do a song with you, like da da da. Like if they say, "Man, you hard," I want to work with you. It's like, all right, bet you know, because I feel like you gotta know when you do stuff like that. Because sometimes you set yourself up for failure, you know. So you ask a certain person, "Can we do a song?" It's like they trying to kick it with you, like you trying to build a relationship. So like me and Rihanna, cool. I would never just Rihanna. Can we get a song? Like Shit. I'm built. No, not all. Like I, you gotta build a relationship. Be cool. Riri, like you don't just. Do you love me? No. <laughs> You don't just like you. You setting yourself up off rip. I'll like, be a and then you make it uncomfortable where you could really become cool with somebody, and then if they want to because do a they song used to you, people asking for shit all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just a time and place. You know, so only time I feel like that, like you know, like kind of ir irritated is when a person, you know, asks me like, "Man, you hard? I want to do something." And I'm like, "All right, bet hell yeah, I fuck with you." And then I reach out and it's like crickets. Uh, well, you the one who offered this lie. How many times has <laughs> that shit happened to you? It ain't been that many times. About two, three times. See, this is the difference, though. I like to think it. I like to look at life like this, right? Everybody's here is here for a reason. God put us all in this room for a reason. Because we all got our own greatness. Right. So, for me coming up on any of y'all motherfuckers saying... And let's get some work done. I'm a fan of you. It, it's not like I'm a raggedy, schmaggedy motherfucker that's coming up asking for the. I, I put my own work in, too. Yeah, fact. I got my own fan base, too. You feel what I'm saying? I got people that fuck with me, too, out here. Yeah, you might got more, but I got my fan base, too. So, for me, I don't look at it as though... Oh, because at the end of the day, we all just the same motherfuckers. We all just regular motherfuckers. God just blessed you to have more money than me, but yeah. you could have we more. You could have more money than me in twenty twenty one, and I could have more money than you in twenty twenty seven. 
or 2022. Right. Or so, in yeah. the later 2021. <laughs> right. That shit happens. Yeah. That shit flipped. Yeah. So one song. So at the yeah. end of the day, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm cashed out. I'm here. I'm on this level. This person's on this level. No, we all here. We all artists. God blessed us all to be here. If I see you and I fuck with you, I'm going to say something. No, I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm not just going to come up and say, let's get a song. I'm going to kick it with you. Yeah. We're going to talk. We're going to have some dialogue. I'm going to say, man, you know, I'm going to let you know I really fuck with you. Like, I would be honored if me and you can get a record. If we can't, I, that's understandable, too. I'm still going to fuck with you. But I would be honored if me and you could get a record together because you one of my favorites. That would be a dream come true. I could scratch that off my bucket list. Oh, okay. Let me tell you how I approach those situations. It's not that I don't ever say nothing. It's just like, I would love to do a record with you someday. Right. You know, I let a person know. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I always do that. Like, any person that I love, first off, I sit there and be like, how y'all sitting around here in this motherfucker right here? I got to say hi. You know, I just did that. We were at a party. Chris Brown pulled up, and everybody just like, it's like, okay. I'm like, nigga, it's Chris Brown right here. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Chris Brown, what's up? <laughs> yeah. I fuck with you. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and then kick the wind. I'm like, no, I fuck with you for real, for real. You right. know what I'm saying? Like on some shit like that. So I never just sit back and act like, hell no, because I know who I am. I know I'm that bitch. But at the same time, I just don't set myself up for shit. I just let you know, like, I want to work with you one day. But I don't just be like, all right, let's get in the studio. Woo, woo. And let me ask you this. A part, of, a part of you feeling like I just don't set myself up for certain shit is this because you know the industry is fake? Exactly. You know, I just told you that. Right. So, see, because, <laughs> because if it was all, if it was full with real, real shit, shit yeah. you would have no problem walking up saying, yo, I fuck with you, man. Let's get it popping. Yeah. Let's get, see, that's one thing about me. I let them, I, I, I do shit like that to let them motherfucker expose himself. Mm-hmm. So when I bump into you the next time and you say, hey, baby, yeah, man, we got to get together. I put you in front of, nigga, I called you, nigga. <laughs> Fuck is you, you talking that about, type, nigga? though. You that nigga, type. you know I called you, nigga. You that type. See, I just be like, all right. You and we know, still could kick it. We yeah. still won't laugh and joke because guess what? I don't need you, nigga. Yeah. Don't ever get it fucked up. I don't need no nigga. I'm going to keep doing me. Right. I'm going to keep running this bag up. My family going to keep being straight. And we going to keep making it happen. So at the end of the day, for me, it's like uh, we ain't going to do no fake shit. Because I don't give a fuck how big he is, how small he is, how short he is, how tall he is. I call you the fuck out. No, nigga, I called you, nigga. I called you, my nigga. Don't yeah, act see, like I you ain't see that don't motherfucking even like, line. Uh, first off, through. the industry shit so awkward <coughs> already. I don't even want to be more awkward. I just... I just but I don't mind. Out. Especially now. I'm, I, I didn't mind back then. But now I'm in a space where... You can't, you, no, no, you can't no affect me. Yeah, see, I just wear that. So not. I love to call a motherfucker out, have that. a motherfucker sitting there looking stupid, doing dumb shit like this. What's your number again? You called me. Bitch, I was there when you locked it in. So my right. number's in your yeah. phone. <laughs> Fuck see, you mean? I did just, I, first off, that's. <laughs> did, they, did they pull your message up? See, damn, you did call me, man. Right. I ain't oh, see it. Damn, I ain't I'll see correct it. them nigga, you seen it. <laughs> yeah, you like the it's comfort. All good, I just <laughs> rather not. I just. All the dumb you shit. You know, some of that energy, I just rather not. That shit just. Ugh, leave me alone. I don't care. Sometimes I like to let a nigga know you a yeah. hoe ass. Yeah, nigga. you know everybody. I get, I get, I get, a, I get a good thing. Like, you're a hoe. Like, you know, I feel like I'm you telling know you, you a hoe ass nigga without like saying it. You like, know you a hoe ass nigga. You know what happened. You know we ain't about to talk about it. I don't feel like even that energy. Bye. That's no, me. See, I, 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 I let them know, and then, and then I change the energy up on them. So, nigga, how you been, nigga? <laughs> yeah, that's because yeah, I'm not mad at you. I see you and just be like, "What's up?" And act like it never. Like I don't even want to. Whatever, if you speak to me, because it's like, all right, you know you a hoe ass. Oh, well, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, nigga, something. You know you, you know what happened. I see you out and about, and you tell me, I don't give a fuck if you change, I don't give a fuck who he is, Barack Obama. (laughs) You tell me, I love the show. I want to come on the show. Oh, we got to set this up. Take my number, get laid. And then you do me like that. The next time I see you, I Barack see Obama. Gilly with all that. The next time I see Barack, Barack Obama, Obama, I'm going to say, yeah, nigga, you're smoking them grape swishers, huh? You can't pick your phone up, nigga. I know you're smoking them grape swishers because your lips black, nigga. You hear me? So you can't pick your phone up, Barack? I don't give a fuck you ran for president. I, you was president. I voted for you, nigga. I helped you get your office. And you couldn't come and call? You couldn't fuck, pick up the phone? Fuck, fuck and that's I all I'm saying. You, nigga, you're lying. You never voted. Don't say you lying to that man so much you voted for. Let me tell you something. It's a cool thing to say because you black. Absolutely. No, yeah, but what the fuck is wrong with you? But don't fuck my shit up. Yeah, like, you ain't voting for that nigga. You don't like, vote, nigga. I don't, but you fuck my shit up. I voted for the nigga in my heart. So yeah, I wanted the nigga to you win in my pass. heart. The fuck yeah, is you talking about? So then stop snitching. You're fucking right. I see, I see, I see. 
You, I already know it. Your, your, t- you gonna be comfortable. You gonna say it. You, you that yeah, time. I don't give yeah. a fuck. Yeah, me. It's not that I give. I just rather not. Because it's so I, much shit I avoid just to just not even give it my energy. I just mm-hmm. rather not with but, so much shit. Because if I tell a nigga I'm gonna do something for him, I'm gonna do it. But you a real nigga. You I, gotta I, think a lot of motherfuckers I, not. Right. And you I'm can't like, even fault them. They know. That 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 that's what that's what, that's what we got fucked up in the industry. Everybody think because. You I took money. a piece of paper. No, I took a piece of paper. I wrote something down or I went in the booth and said that I'm from the streets and I'm a street nigga. Rapping ain't got nothing to do with being a real no, nigga. It don't. Right. And if you're a real person, you a solid motherfucker. Yeah. Just because you rap good, you got some jewelry on. It's a bunch of fucking goofballs with jewelry on. Yeah. It's a bunch of people in the circus. And it's a lot of lames with like, money. Like a lot of lames with money. I but, know it's but, more lames with but, money but, than real niggas with money. But we live in a world with social oh, yeah, media. It's way more. But, but we live in a world with social media. Got everybody feeling as though. If you got money, you the shit. That's how it's designed now. Mm-hmm. You the or shit. You the, you, you, or you a real nigga. You a real you motherfucker because you got money. You pull oh, up in the big car. Bro. And all. Oh, oh, big bro. Is the, mm-hmm. Big bro is the fucking thing. So now, <laughs> so now you got all that bullshit going. But I'm, I'm gonna switch lanes and I'm gonna ask you something. Million dollars worth of game is also brought to you by Roman Swipes. One thing about Roman Swipes to help all you two quarter guys. Get through the whole game. I'm talking about the whole game and maybe even overtime. It depends how you're feeling. But one thing there, Roman swipes are clinically proven ways to last longer in bed. I'm talking about you, you know, listen, you don't want to get to bed and don't be able to last, man. You're going to have a problem. She's going to talk about you to her friends, family, but she's going to talk about you and she's going to give you an attitude that you really ain't got time to be dealing with. I'm telling you, they're effective. They're easy to use. They're fast acting. But don't require a prescription. You don't even need a prescription to use these. I'm so you can think about this. You don't need no prescription. You're gonna go from only playing one to two quarters, because that's all you do anyway. That's why she be giving you attitude now, to playing the whole game and maybe even oh, you know, scoring in overtime to win the championship game. Think about that. that guess what else? Roman swipes. I'm talking about, I'm talking about they're discreet. I'm talking about they're unmarked packaging and each swipe. Package is small enough to hide in your wallet. You have it right in your wallet. Nobody even know. Super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the packet. Whip, whip. Swipe it on and let it dry. And you're going to make her fly. Roman swipe. What you need to do right now is go to GetRoman.com slash game. You can get your first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. Roman swipes. What are you waiting for? What, what the fuck you got going on? And I already know you cooking some shit up. I know. They don't know. What you cooking up? Because it's ready to be game time. Oh, I got some. A whole bunch of shit. You know, I was just filming. Yes, you was. Oh. That shit about to come. I got an album done. I got songs coming. I got other shows coming. I got other stuff I've been filming. I got a lot, a lot of stuff I've been doing. So, yeah, I just, man, I be working all the time. Yeah, what, mo- what, 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 what motivates you to keep going and just stay down, stay 10 toes down and just? Hmm. It's self-motivation, but, like, my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just be, like, my mom. She had five kids at 21 and shit, so I just be want her to live a certain kind of life. I want her to be good. You know, my my, my siblings straight and, you know, my dad died and shit, so it's like I kind of be just want to make him proud. I got a little, I don't know, a little emotional shit going on with me. Let me, let yeah. me say this, man. Condolence to that. Your father dying, you know, and uh, yeah. I'm going to say this. Uh, Peter it keep me going because my dad wanted to make music, and he died at 19. He died on okay. my first birthday. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's some something there, you know, like I have a spiritual connection with him. So I just be want to do what he wanted to do. And I just hope that he's proud and I just keep it going, you know, cause especially when it comes to the music. Cause it was so many times where I was like, man, fuck this music shit. But I know that's his passion and it's something that a gift that I have. And it's my passion too, that I don't want to give up. I want to take it there, you know, and, and succeed. And when did you, uh, cause, cause you said something to me and I noticed something, that, a dramatic change. You said you jumped on that plane, you had the, uh, you know, the mink on. To the floor, nigga. Make sure you say to, to the, the floor. To the floor. It was, it was, dra- it was you know, it was, it was slap box so in the floor. Warm. You'd be warm. Slap box in the floor, Jews on, they jumped on the <laughs> plane. You was, you was solo. But you walked in this motherfucker with a dream team. Oh, you, no, that's you. You're not playing. So when did that come in? When hello, did the team hello, come hello. To together? Let me tell y'all something. I would have walked in here by myself. I'm, I'll be in L.A. <laughs> Bobbing in my line, Joey. No, but it I seems like God. you got a team now. Yeah, that's my management team. Yeah, you know, like making yeah. sure I'm on time and getting my stuff together. Yeah. yeah, but that came along years later. But if they if they was doing something, I've done stuff about me and my sister. They'll call me like you got to be here for. I will pull up. No, the reason I'm saying that because uh-huh. it got to be some importance of it. You added a team to you. Oh yeah, of course. That's when I got signed, and you know, yeah. life happened. 
But and then my mom, I told you my mom found out about she me doing like, the trip before. She like, you has been, you is crazy. You out here, these people can do this to you. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, all right, so she can have a peace of mind. It was for her. Let me give me a team. All right. So I just start traveling with one security. And just rolling like that. Right yeah. now, right now, Detroit is on fire. Yes, fire. Fire. It's, listen, I'm talking about it's on fucking fire. I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. Um, uh, right now, tell me what's going on in Detroit. Because, you know, we, we on the outside, we looking in. We got people that we got in mind. But tell the people... Who them? Who, who? What's that shit in Detroit? Who them niggas? Man, say in that rap shit. Yeah, say him. Man, Whew. it's so many, and I'm so mad because if I mess up, I'm gonna be so irritated. But we got Vezo, you got Payroll, you got Babyface Ray, you got um, Peasy, Free Rio, but Rio from Flint, but he be down the. Oh deal yeah, Rio, y'all. He, he from, but you know that's Michigan. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Um. Tay B. Mm-hmm. Um, damn, so many, dog. All them niggas, them my niggas, too. All of them. I fuck with all these. So, oh, Sada, you know Sada going crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you Y'all know T. Man, it's so many. I And I'm I'm mad I got to say everybody's name because I'm going to forget because it's so many mm-hmm. that's just coming up. And you know what? I'm so happy for, like, Babyface and Vez and Peasy and, you know, like, I watched them really grind. They've been out for years. Mm-hmm. So to watch them finally get their time, I'm like, hell yeah. You know, like, mm-hmm. they didn't give up. They kept going. And now I see people biting their style. And they know they, they're they known for it, though. They ain't taking a run. Like, they're known for it. Like, it's so – am I missing somebody? I just hope I'm not. I am. You know what's crazy? I, I met Ice. I met Vezo out. I was on tour back in 2016. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he, he was at my tour. And I was just like. I, I, I met him all the way back then, and he was doing his thing back then. Mm-hmm. And he had to I mean? go sit down for a minute. So I think it was out. 16, maybe miss one of them years, but 15 or something. He was doing his thing way back then. So I understand what you say when you say to see him get his shine. Now, it's, that's that's like a. That's some real shit when you don't give up and you stay down stay and you down, really man. believe in what you doing. Like, cause that's like really my brother. Like, so yep. me and him have conversations, like sitting on the phone, like talking right. about this type of shit. Right. So it's like, dang, he finally, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, man, right. I'm happy for him. I see him and we just be smiling. Like, nigga, you doing that shit? Like, right. we be excited. And, and, and let's get it right. It's not finally doing it because he's been doing it. He's been it. doing it, no, for sure. But, but it's just he's like been doing it on the Detroit, on the Detroit uh, level. Uh, 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 Flint, uh, uh, you know, the like Michigan, the, the, all the surrounding the areas of, yeah. of, of, of Michigan and the, the Midwest, Midwest area, right? You yeah. feel what I'm saying? But now he's getting that, the worldwide I was just on Rodell and I, I'm going to Jimmy Choo, leaving out to go do something right quick. I, somebody ran past banging and shit. I'm like, Damn, right. Right. Like, yeah. that shit made playing. me happy. Right. They're not playing. And I had a conversation with Royce five nine, right? I was talking to Royce. Oh, yeah, Royce, morning. that's the big homie. Royce talking. And Royce said, Royce was so happy because he's like, he said when he came out, it was a different style of rap, and they was just representing that style. He said now in the streets is being a Detroit sound has was, was able to come out now. See, now y'all getting the real niggas yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Now y'all, y'all getting the real niggas, like yeah. that, that was street niggas in the D. Mm-hmm. Like at first it was like, you know, industry stuff. And that's cool too because everybody got their own lane. But right. now you getting like the niggas that's really been putting in that work. And, for real. and you know what's crazy? I was talking, it was early in the morning. Me and Royce probably was on the phone. For like an hour and so he broke down the history of it. He talked about Soda, he talked about Blade, he talked about all these other dudes mm-hmm. that was just a wine that came home. He talked about all of them. He broke that history shit down. I'm like, damn. He broke that shit down for him. I was like, damn, this shit was brewing. This yeah. shit been brewing though. Mm-hmm. A lot of people and dudes went to jail. Some brothers got killed, recipes in them. But it was like, it was like this brew. And that shit just like it, the pot just. I'm just so boom. happy, man. Yeah. We living in that time because Blade and them they ain't get their chance. Yeah, for yeah. People Blade, to man. hear they hear that sound all over the world. Yeah. Like, now what? Now it's like the world is hearing that sound. Cause them the street niggas. You got to think Blade and them, them yeah, Cheddar Blade, Boys, yeah. all them that like that was those was the street niggas back in the day. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So now we really have them in the forefront. Like, yeah, Detroit. This Detroit. Right. 
But listen, it's really it's, Detroit. Uh, hold on, <laughs> you know hold on for one saying? second. Shout out to Trick Trick too, because he put a lot oh, of yeah, work Trick, in. Trick, that's on. That's he, big on. He put a lot of work big in for, <laughs> for for the for you know for the artist that that was just named. He put a lot of work he in did. it, and that nigga was one nigga that represented that motherfucking D nigga to. Psh, to the I haven't mo- had an interview where they talked about Detroit and they didn't ask about Trick Trick. Yeah, you know, you know so, Trick Trick, like yeah. yeah, and Royce, you know Royce. With yeah, that Royce. real rap, like, you know, Royce so is one brother, of them Royce. rappers. Right. Fuck you know what Royce. I'm saying? Like, I fuck right. with him. It's a lot of people from the D that just, that's just a good representation. But 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 when we talk about Detroit right now, it's like, July 31st, Gil gonna be 51. We celebrating his birthday in the, the live show. The fuck out of here, pussy. You gonna be 51. You ain't no fucking 51, pussy. You gonna be half a hundred and a dollar. I'm gonna be a 45, though. Y'all can bring me a Michael listen, Jordan jersey. Listen, <laughs> listen, we got a live show going on. <laughs> In Philadelphia, right? I don't right? like them. I listen, don't. I'm no, not he gonna be pussy talking about no, 51. Yeah, but listen, he gonna be 51, but that's another story. The live show, y'all gotta make sure y'all get y'all tickets. It's gonna be going down. The shit is almost sold out. By the time this drop, it'll be sold out. But what's important is that million dollars worth of game live podcast on October 2nd is going to be in Detroit. Detroit, Detroit Music Hall. We bringing the fucking D. I'm Detroit Music Hall. The, the, Detroit Music Hall is going to fuck I'm down. Guess who we going to try to see who I'm we... Out that we bitch. That's who we want to see. We trying to bring the whole... We could bring out. I just y'all. I just made a song. I'm mad that bitch. Uh-huh. See, that, okay. I'm mad that bitch. That's the that bitch. That bitch. I'm Listen, behold. That bitch, that this is how the video goes. Let me direct the city. Let me direct the video. The video you getting dressed that in the mirror. You laying that your clothes, that that clothes out to be at that bitch. So you laying your clothes out in the video when the first come on. I'm at that bitch. You call your girlfriend. She was like, girl. You know we going to such and such, and you you hang the phone up. The beat come on. I'm, I'm at, at that, that bitch. bitch. You laying your clothes down. You looking I'm at, at your that. shit. Uh-huh. You doing your hair. The next thing you know, at the, at the at video, that you get into that bitch. You in your car. Uh-huh. I'm then at you get, that bitch. And then you at the, That's a single. Just make sure I get bitch. like I need like thirty no, percent on the no, song. No. I need to own like thirty. The fuck out of here, no, trying to publish it, man. I get that. I help you. Fuck, he trying to get in cash to our pockets. No, I'm just saying. I just let me tell you something. One thing we knew since back in the day, Arkeisha ain't gonna let you in a pocket. Oh, uh, fuck, uh, now I don't wanna go to the hospital. Y'all ain't having none of the that. fuck is wrong with you? One thing about Arkeisha, she is not letting no <laughs> nigga. I'm mad. He's get on my name. <laughs> One thing about Arkeisha. <laughs> Arkeisha. Uh, I'm gonna strangle him. I wanna strangle him. Arkeisha. Why? Because <laughs> he's been calling me Arkeisha since I got here. Yeah, Arkeisha, I know about Donald. How yeah. the fuck you know about my first boyfriend? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that man wife gonna be at home but, like I'm gonna kill you well listen oh, I know about home. your first boyfriend and hopefully I know about your last one you know what I pray to yeah you know but you know what y'all I don't I don't just I don't I don't get around I ain't got I ain't got no like I ain't just had a lot of boyfriends shit no but hopefully I know about you hopefully this is your last one you know what I'm saying like, hopefully y'all take this shit all the way to the top you know I'm, I'm, I'm I gotta see you know you gotta see yeah, hopefully have. Tracy got his shit together Tracy. <laughs> first off, this is my first time ever having a let me, let me just interview you. speaking on having a nigga. Like, let, let, I can't let, believe we're well, just saying this his name. Like this, like, this is million dollars worth of game. And that's my young, and tra- my young and Tracy. It's real. Oh, my God. True player from Atlanta. What? Atlanta Goodnight. player. Get your shit together. Oh, Detroit player. Make sure you have your oh, shit Oh, you made him a Detroit player? No, I'm a Detroit player. But hold on. Wait. Detroit is player, not Atlanta. I'm trying, they to, don't have... I'm trying to get okay, Tracy some game. Go ahead. Make sure you got your shit together. That's all I'm going to tell you, T. I can't believe yeah, me too. That's all I want to tell you. My just, whole relationship is just out. Yeah, you know I mean, no, it ain't about I'm that. I'm really it's in about, a public ass relationship. This about, is we, crazy. We laying game on him, and I'm gonna tell you like this: Tracy introduces to some shit she never, she never been exposed to before. Mm. That's the key to this shit. Mm. The things, yeah, you can buy it. That's easy. <sighs> Introduce her to some new shit. What? Take her some places she never. Oh, you know what, Tracy? I, I got, I'm gonna hook y'all up. Jump out of a plane with her. Let, let her know, like, we that really That nigga ain't shit. jumping out of plane. Y'all should have seen us on the helicopter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't, be, like, don't be putting that nigga business out there <laughs> no, like that. No, no, y'all want to put all my business out there. Everybody know I got a boyfriend. Yes, and he's scared of the helicopter. He was on there. Oh, damn. Nigga Jay. was all on there. <laughs> 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 yep, I told. <laughs> he was scared to death. Damn, Trey. <laughs> this a motherfucker. Yep, I told. So, yep. Damn. It's all good, Trey. Boom. Just make sure you got your shit together, you know what I mean? And when he's... <laughs> When he said take her somewhere she's never been, but he meant it eat her oh ass out till she pass out. See, that's that's all I'm, listen, man. I'm about to go. And hey, that was it. See? That was it. That was it. You fucked up. I'm about to she's go. Yeah. I'm about to listen, go. we out here. Listen, do it. It's going down. It's going down. Don't do it. Listen, don't do it. It's going down. Million dollars worth of game don't is on. It's don't on. do it. Listen, it's million dollars worth of game. We're going to be in Detroit. That's the first time a guest ever left. 
She have a look. We're going to be in Detroit, and it's going down. Listen, October 2nd, Cash Doll, a.k.a. Tell Love Doll, is going to, down. Tell her I'm sorry. I'm Listen, sorry, come here, Cash. Come, here. come to me, Cash. I'm sorry. Come here, Cash. And it's come just like that. Right.